Winter in our region usually means lots of snow and ice. And while ice and snow can be a headache to deal with, it can also be really beautiful to look at, especially when it's turned into a work of art. NBC 5's Tyler Baronski gives us an inside look at the ice sculpting process and where, where you can check out sculptures like these right now. That's the sound of art in progress, turning a blank canvas of ice into a one-of-a-kind frozen display, something Westford, Vermont's Wicked Good Ice has down to a science. The creative process on display and getting lots of attention outside of the Essex Resort and Spa Wednesday afternoon. They already have the picture in their brains, obviously, and then they just put it into reality in that block of ice. She's really, really yes. amazing. I can watch that the whole day. It's a new attraction for visitors at the popular resort this winter. It's all about uh, having some pictures taken with them, building the experience. Murray Long, owner of New England-based Wicked Good Ice, is working on some New Year sculptures. He says the process starts before he is even at a location because it takes three days to freeze the initial blocks of ice. We basically have a Kleinbell block making machine. It's two side-by-side -side bathtubs with spring form pans and we put a blast plastic liner in, 40 gallons in each side, and it freezes from the bottom up. And as it freezes, we circulate a pump and make sure the water stays clear. Then it's all about the attention to detail. We had them already uh, slabbed at seven inches thick and we build a base onto the bottom of each one place a template on there, outline the template, and that's how we get the, the letters just perfect and the numbers just right, and uh, we spelled 2023 correctly, I believe. <laughs> and while some art is long-lasting, ice sculptures need to be appreciated in the moment. We took the shadows. That's yeah. We picked the spots where the sun wasn't going to affect it. And you just have to have the trust that the hotel trusts and believes in the ice, and sometimes they last three days, sometimes they last three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends on Mother Nature. A beautiful sight to make the most of before it melts away. In Essex Junction, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News. Now.